serving mid-Michigan. You're watching NBC 25 News at 6. Good Sunday evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kim Russell. Our top story, one chastening man donated his kidney to a stranger. Now, thanks to his act, people across the country have a new chance at life. NBC 25's Jessica Harthorn is live with this inspiring story. Jessica. That's right, Kim. It's a pay it forward approach. With more than 85,000 people waiting for a kidney transplant in America, a doctor from Flint decided to create a kidney donation chain that saves dozens of lives. Two brothers participated, and their gift of life has spread. Last fall, doctors told Chesning resident Troy Lewis his kidney was failing fast. So his brother Tony said he would give him one of his. I mean, there's no way I was going to let something, you know, happen to him. So, um, you know, I figured. I was healthy, um, you know, I've never had any illnesses or anything like that, so I thought I can survive with one if he can. When Tony was tested to see if he would be a good donor match for his younger brother Troy, well that's when he found out that he had the mononucleosis virus. It's a virus that Troy had never had before. That means that if he did take his kidney, later on down the road he could have developed cancer. So the odds of me finding a kidney were about one in 400. That's when the Lewis brothers found out about the Alliance for Pair Donation. It's a kidney bank started by Flint native Dr. Michael Reese. It offers the opportunity for people who, who are alive who want to give one of their loved ones a kidney, but for immunological reasons cannot say they have the wrong blood type. They can still give a stranger their kidney, and in that act, their loved one will receive a kidney from somebody else who will give it back to them. Through the program, a minister in Colorado was found to be a match for Troy. And he was watching TV one night and found out that you could give your kidney away, and he said he felt led that somebody needed his kidney. The surgery was a success. To keep the donation chain going, Tony gave his kidney to a man in Florida, and that man's wife donated her kidney to a man in Grand Rapids. That's when it probably hit me more than anything because it wasn't helping one person or two people. You're helping a whole group of people. But during surgery, a weakened vein ruptured near Tony's kidney. Dr. Reese repaired it, saving his life. Doc had said if, if he would not have been the chosen one, uh, more than likely he probably wouldn't have made it through the year. Uh, with that aneurysm. The Lewis family says without the Alliance for Pair Donation, both brothers would have died. Believe it or not, I had faith it was all going to work out. I just couldn't figure out how. <laughs> but God figured that one out. Dr. Reese says kidney do donation comes with very little risk. Only one out of every 3,000 people who donate have problems. And healthy people who do donate actually live longer than the average person. Kim? Thanks, Jessica. To learn more, go to our website, connectmidmichigan.com.